to you, the lovely audience. Thank you so much for coming. It's an opportunity to win 25 free dollars in the form of a gift card to Midtown Comics. Who would like a chance to win 25 free dollars? Simply raise your hand. 25 dollars. Yes, you, sir. Come on down. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Yeah. Matthew, audience? Audience Matthew? Yeah. Try not to drift, sir. Come this way. <laughs> okay. How this is going to work is I'm going to read you three questions, listen to all three possible answers, go three for three, gift card yours. Okay? Here we go. Question number Oh, well, by the way, the trivia has to do with the assistant editor's money. Okay. So, so, here we go. Question number one. Assistant editors month started because is it A, Marvel wanted to reward them for all their hard work. B, the editors left to go to San Diego for Comic Con. Or C, because it was the opposite day. So it's B. <laughs> in charge and they came up with some amazing stuff. Okay, back in the day, Captain America number 289, on the cover was a character called Mo Skull. Is that a cross between A, Mojo and the Red Skull, or B, Modoc and the Red Skull, or is it C, Mohinder and Agent Scully? <laughs> It's either A, Mojo, or it's B, Modoc. B is correct. Woo! Number two. Here we go. In Daredevil, number 202, there was a mini story starring A, Kirk, Kirk Hammond, B, Dirk McGirt, <laughs> or C, My Little Pony. So it's either A, Kirk Cameron, or B, Dirk McGirt, and it's not C. I'm not going to give this one to you. Let's see what you got. Kirk Cameron. B is correct! Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, as we all know, tomorrow is New Comic Book Day. We recommend you go to Midtown Comics because they're nice enough to sponsor the show. And Pete, what are you looking forward to? Oh, wow. Uh, you don't remember, do you? Uh, well, I'm not going to say uh, Wolverine the Magazine, number one. <laughs> uh, it's just all stories that Wolverine wrote. <laughs> I Thinking like about life and how it feels. Yeah, uh, there's an entire story that's from, from the perspective of a can of beer. <laughs> I, I would buy that. I'm really looking forward to uh, Sea Guy. There's a new Sea Guy coming out uh, from Ben Larson. Yeah. Uh, oh, that trailed off very quickly. Uh, but uh, hopefully this is Grant Morrison giving up on Final Crisis, Batman, R.I.P., all that stuff, and getting back to what he does best. Uh, so that's awesome. Now, there's a bunch of other great stuff that I'll plug, but I want to see if you guys are going to plug it first. Jordan, what are you looking forward to? Well, my favorite comic is coming out tomorrow, which is um, Savage Dragon. And it's gotten really exciting recently. And no applause for that, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, what do you have coming out tomorrow that people uh, should check out? You I, you know, I don't actually think I have any books coming out next week, not including the small amount that I put into the assistant one shot. I don't think I saw anything by us. But this month soon we'll have uh, the first issue of the uh, the relaunched Exile series, which is going to be awesome, and uh, the first issue of the Savage She-Hulk miniseries, which is really fun. So. I super recommend both of those. <laughs> um, well, obviously, the uh, this is Inside Spectacular, everyone, comes out tomorrow. Um, the first issue of the new Marvel Illustrated series, Pride and Prejudice, comes out tomorrow. Uh, so I highly recommend you pick that up, um, especially if you've never re read Jane Austen before. Here's your chance to jump on. Um, <laughs> it's a great jumping on. It's a great, it's great. <laughs> um, but um, my, the, the, the book I'm most excited about um, coming out tomorrow um, is uh, another book that I'm working on is uh, Agents of Atlas number three, um, which you should also jump on and read if you're not reading it because it's fantastic and amazing and you can put it on. This is kind of embarrassing, but there, are, uh, being an assistant editor at Marvel, there are still lots and lots of comics I have not read, uh, some of which uh, include uh, parts of that original run of New Mutants. Uh, and seeing as we have a new New Moons book coming up that I'm just editor on, 
Um, I should probably fill in those holes in my knowledge. So uh, I'm kind of looking forward to the uh, New Mutant Saga that's coming out. Um, uh, and and as, a, as a plug, um, my uh, the artist that I recruited at Marvel, uh, Diabetes Nevis, uh, who will be doing the art on uh, New Mutants, uh, he did his first cover for uh, the saga. So I'm really, you know, looking forward to seeing it in print. Um, I'm really digging the IDW GI Joe series. It's, I mean, it's, it's more straightforward fun, but I like it. It's uh, I hate when people say, "Oh, it's really true to the spirit of the action figure and TV show." <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, this is you know, it's a cheap plug, but Amazing Spider-Man 590 is out tomorrow, and it's part one of a two-parter that you've heard this before, but it's incredibly true. It will completely change the Marvel universe. Hundred <laughs> percent serious. Again, the last page of 591. Get ready for it. <laughs> yeah. Can we just keep um, Marvel Universe I'm also, <laughs> I'm also very excited about Sea Guy. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but I would also I'd be remiss not to mention Invincible Iron Man 12, where Iron Man fights the name one. Uh, cool, so definitely check out all of that stuff. A couple of little things before we go. Uh, next week on the show, we're going to have a big one. Uh, not as big as this. <laughs> uh, but we're going to have Ron Mars on the show, Cliff Chiang, and Jesse Blaze Snyder, who is the son of D. Snyder, has a book coming out tomorrow called Dead World We Out, so that's going to be kind of cool. You can also check us out almost every day of the week at youtube.com slash comic book club, so that's very cool. Uh, one other thing, uh, sitting in the front row the entire time is Chris Russo, the creator of Mini Marvels, who has <laughs> He has a section in the Assistant Science Spectacular, which is totally awesome, about Hawkeye. While he has been sitting here at the show, he has been making drawings of Hawkeye, which I don't know if we have enough for everybody, but hopefully we do. Uh, come up after the show and take one there for you guys. Wow. If we flip through them, is it animated? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> don't try. That's good, right? Everybody just keep the side of the table. Cool. A couple of people we want to thank before we go. We want to thank Jordan for being on the show. <laughs> Please tell your friends good night. Thanks, everyone.